privilege to meet your Uncle Zeus someday? Imagine me with a luxurious white mane without a modicum of self-control. That's your Zeus. Glad I'm on his good side. There, that's it. Interrupting something. I'd ask you show me a good time there, love. Although I almost can't imagine a good time where you reside. So dreary, constantly. care of that. I see you have the Lady Aphrodite's blessing there already. Love and death together hand in hand sounds most agreeable to me. You're mine. It's a skill scion. Hello, sir. Now you be careful out there, Highness. The kindly Megara is out for blood. She kept on groaning about the last exchange between the two of you. You must have showed her good. I think I might have gotten lucky. That I can do. Cheers, mate. Why bother? You can do this. What? Zeus, um, Uncle, please accept this offering and all my gratitude. 
goodness, nephew, that's an offering indeed. I'm thankful for your piety to me. And as a show of generosity to you, in turn, I present this. My thanks, Lord Uncle Zeus. Poor Demeter, young man. You still wonder what became of her fair daughter. Ran away with mortals there, perhaps. Some of the tales even more preposterous. Don't go believing everything you hear. And do be sensitive about the subject, hmm? Demeter, she's been through quite enough. All right, Lord Zeus. Charon's offerings ahead, I guess. I can take it. Oof. I have you grown trusting yet of the Olympians for all their generosity? Perhaps you ought to let them know the truth about your journey's goal. They are vain and think that it is them you seek. I'll never get out of here if not for their help, but I can't let them know about Mother. She wants to remain hidden from them. In a difficult position to be in, son of Hades, the Olympians may not appreciate you, Mr. But you can trust that I shall keep your secret. I wish to see how your predicament plays out. In the name of Hades. Got a feeling it's to Siphony this time. What do you know? Murder. Murder. Oh god. No murder. My weapon shuddered at the touch of it. Tisiphony has failed me, has she? Go with that one. That's enough Tartarus. Done. The Bone Hydra awaits.
will spread us. Looky who? Look, Eurydice, I promise not to bother you with this each time, but you should know your husband's shattered by what happened with the two of you. He's genuinely sorry, and he loves you very deeply still, I'm sure of it. What am I supposed to do with that, Your Royal Majesty? I... I don't know yet. Though you know what? You shouldn't take my word for it. You should take his. Don't think I'll be running into him anytime soon, from what I understand. But you're the Hades kid. You want to pull some strings on our behalf? Go right ahead, I guess. But I won't hold my breath. Even if I could. You bet. Hmm, really hit the spot. See you again. Bye, hun. Enough, I've better things to do. There we go. Got a bite. A crustacean. from chaos has a new effect. Lord Dionysus, it's been great getting to know you, so please accept this humble offering. Now that is something, a right princely gift there, Zack, and just so happens I got something here I have been meaning to give you. Thank you, Dionysus, mate. Now how's my favorite underworld god surviving? Zag, you're holding up a what? Right better momentarily, I bet. Yes. Steady now. I know that toll. Blood and darkness. 
How about another of our little contests, Sagrius? You brazen wretches ought to have turned back. You definitely ought. You. Perish. And don't come back. You die next. You took my kill. You are next. Okay. What chance did they have? Take him. Lord Hermes, please accept this gift as a small token of my appreciation. Thank you for always keeping me on my toes. Oh, mighty king of you two leave a tip there, boss. And I have a tip for you. Don't be slow. Maybe this will help with that. Lord Hermes, I'm in your debt. You heard already from my pop, haven't you, cuz? Wonderful guy. We don't get to spend a lot of time together, though. You know how that is. Well, see ya. speed. I wouldn't mess with me if I were you. That's what you get. This bounty's mine.
on with them. <laughs> the dead must have it pretty good up here. Be reasonable now. Just getting started, huh? I'll just take that. Regenerating. also amplified one of my boons. Well, short one, it seems I must attempt to maim you here so that the king and I might finally stop you at the gates. You know, you hurt me with this short one business almost as much as with that axe. Why isn't Theseus short one? with the same height. No, the king is greater. He is the greatest king of Athens. What are you? A willful son of a fickle god. I am beneath your father's notice, and you are beneath the king's. Now fight me. I'll crush you. <sighs> Enough, short one. A warm-up for later. What do we have here? Look, Zag, you should know by now that when it comes to feasting, it's yours truly here who puts on the best performance. But I do have Lady Aphrodite's help. Wine does have a rather special way of making everybody look even more beautiful than ever, Dionysus, dear. And from such beauty, why long-lasting love is born. And also shorter-lasting love much of the time. Ooh. Let's go, team. time in the name of Hades
here's the fee. Oh, hey, man, what is new? Neutrality was not an option here. What? You wouldn't hang with me given the choice? I thought I had you sorted, man, but maybe you just don't appreciate the finer things. You'll get over it. Sorry. You know what, man? I'm not even angry after that. What was I even going off about? Do you recall? Spears. Lots of coin there. Something for the mirror. Not enough heat. What's on offer? Here's something to remember, fishies. Mine. Another sea man. You! The monster has returned in a vainglorious attempt to wrest the title champion from me. They couldn't care less about your title. Though, shouldn't you share it with the Minotaur? He's more than half the reason you've been in any trouble. You'll not drive a wedge between us, fiend. 
Asterius and I share a fraternal bond forged from the strongest bronze, nay, adamant. But you have caused us both offense, so die. Back, fiend! Blast. That was my friend! Olympians, aid us against this fiend! I guess they're testing me. Oh, dear. That's one champion unseated. Must be something I can do with this. Until next time, good shade. One less boon. So close. Thank you. Gods grant me a swift Sata sack. What else we got? Snake stones. Keep looking down those passageways.
of their disgusting lairs, huh? Lord Uncle Zeus. In the name of Hades. Mm-hmm. Going back. That's a bite. Another scuffer. Which tunnel? Maybe it's in here. of Hades. Not dead yet. <sighs> Thank you, mate. Let's see what's in here. this stuff. Olympus, I accept this message. Much better.
Hold on a minute. Something I can use. I can use this. Surely Zeus won't mind. The power of the gods. Mm. Thus has the prince again persuaded fearsome Cerberus to get out of his way. Bye for now, boy. We made it, Stygius. I hope this Arthur serves you well someday. I never had any respect for Stygius that blade you bear. Perhaps unfairly due to Brother Poseidon's sloppy form when once he wielded it. But now it seems quite different in your care. I think we've grown quite close to one another, yes. Enough to where I've come to know a different side of this fine blade right here. This is the aspect of some Arthur fellow. Maybe the two of you- Arthur? No name either of gods or kings of any realm I know. Then introduce us, as you say, to this new amateur to whom your blade rendered its services. Come forth, wretches, and dispose of this unfilial oaf. I'll send your wretches back where they belong. Darkness. Let's see you deal with this. I've had it with you, boy. <laughs> Vanquished again by my own fool kin. You shall soon follow. In the name of Hades. Sagris! Hello, Mother. Of everything down in that gloomy house, I miss old Cerberus the most, I think. But I miss other things as well. 
The lack of light was gentler on my skin. Not being as cold. And Nyx and her young sons. It was all very odd, but... Mother, in father's bedchambers. Mind you, there's almost nothing there, just neatly sorted rows of all his samey capes. But on his nightstand is a portrait of you, wearing a regal crown of red laurels. A queen. His queen. I was fitted for those garments when I first arrived. They were not my customary style. So Hades has a portrait of me still. Why would he put it back on display now? No, no, he's never let anybody in his bedchambers. I broke in, don't you see? He didn't put your portrait back on display. It's always been there, ever since you left. So, Mother, why do you suppose he would do that? Because he... Because he loves me still. Is that what you want me to say? Have you ever loved him yourself? All I really wanted was to leave Olympus. I didn't exactly abscond. I doubt I had much of a choice, but I went willingly. Perhaps Zeus knew how I felt, and thought he was doing me a favor. As for Hades, I grew to love him, yes. He always gave me my space. Won't you... Uh, won't you please talk to him? Or visit Cerberus again, or Nyx? As for Olympus, surely all of you can figure something out? I just don't know, my son. Olympus is behind me. In the underworld. I cannot imagine I would be very welcome there after all this time. But you are the queen. <sighs> Yeah, you are the queen. Oh! Oh, it's you! Just come on in! You're on the list! Bye, Hypnos. Don't you see, boy? You are trapped. Question for you, father. The name Kore happened to mean anything to you by any chance? What? Where did you... Ah, the cold witch brought it up to Chi. Never repeat that name again. Not here, nor anywhere, you hear me, boy. Know only this. The one called by that name despised it even more than I. So let's see. Demeter's daughter went missing. She wound up down here. I happened. Mother left. Demeter and everyone else on Olympus, apparently, has no idea. That about right? Tell me what happened. I'll tell you nothing. Keep meddling in matters that you cannot understand, and you'll incur the wrath of Olympus on all that you hold dear. And know that it is not for my sake that I'm warning you. You can't hide the truth forever. Cerberus is preoccupied with scratching and biting at himself. Hello. I must confess something to you, my friend. My mind still wanders to Eurydice quite often, and my memories of her, despite my best attempts to move along with my existence here. I would call it a fatal flaw, except I am already dead. Don't torture yourself, mate. You've been through enough, as is she. You still care for one another, just don't have a way to get the point across. But I have an idea. I too once had ideas, Zagreus. Ideas and inspirations. It was so very wonderful to have a muse. I know. More pets? More pets. I've had the opportunity to use your aspect of Varatha, sir. So you once wielded it yourself. It fills me with a hunger for battle even more so than usual. A bit of your fighting spirit, perhaps. Be very wary of that spirit, lad. It was what brought me here before my time. Although that spear indeed once served me well, 
parting gift from my old master Chiron. He cautioned me as I'm cautioning you. Though may you be a better listener. I can't imagine you weren't always a good listener, Achilles. I'd like to see how that looks the other way again, please. Can you believe this, Cerberus? Contractor, work approved. Perhaps Death Incarnate would like to take a load off every now and then. Appreciate that. Thanatos would never sit down on the job. Here's the commission. Should soften up that corridor down there. <laughs> Thanatos has no need for such embellishments. Let's go ahead with this again. What have you done this time? Well, I don't see why not. I think those pedestals over there are just a bit too modest for my tastes. Hmm. I do suppose that gold suits those sufficiently. Let's do it. This thought-provoking piece seems like a decent conversation starter for the whole. What is that utterly preposterous design? Here's the fee. A hideous rendition of a grizzled skeleton seems suitable to call. May it strike fear into these worthless shades. Work approved. A painting of the finest spot in all the underworld seems suitable to have in here. Why settle for a painting when you could just go get yourself killed there now? Let's go with this. It seems my princely duty to commission this fine portrait of myself. I ought to have named you Narcissus instead. Contractor, I have another job. For Cerberus, only the greatest bet will do. Don't you disturb the dog, you hear me, boy. <laughs> Father loved her, didn't he? Mother, I mean. Faith like that. He's just stubborn enough to hold on to the idea of her, isn't he? Though what she saw in him, I'm not sure. Your father was different with Persephone, to some extent. He has always been as you know him, yet... Her lightness... It affected even him, I think. And he knows that he was better with her than without. Sounds like a lot of pressure on Mother to fix all his failings. But it sounds as though she cared for him as well. And you and Cerberus. She said she misses you. She did, did she? Hey, not bad, head chef. Don't worry, Prince. I'll keep an eye on things. I come to you bearing aquatic beasts. Use them wisely, my friend. I don't know what to say. I... Are you joking around with me, maybe? Oh, I am deadly serious, Dusa. Honest. It's for you. The frightful countenance of a bleached, bloodless warrior decorates the hall forevermore. Eternally in tribute, to the savage servants of the house's lord. I could take him. I 
I paid for it, I can mess with it. 748, that's a coincidence. Never thought I'd come back here again. Who wants to hear a humorous jest of some sort? Mm, no. Made it that time. If I sit down, I won't want to get back up. You took Lord Hades down. You really did. I've never seen him quite like this before. I could scarce believe it when he came up through the pool of sticks himself. Seemed only fair in the grand scheme of things. He slew his own parents at some point, right? I think the fates enjoy this sort of thing. Come on, Zag. Take some credit where it's due. Though... You'll forgive me if I keep my distance for a little while, as I think you have some issues to resolve. You watch yourself. I'm planning to. Still fancy. One more prophecy fulfilled. Holy Excalibur, thank you for your strength. I can be more. one then. feel different. Close enough. Boyo? So, uh, pal? My sources tell me that you made it pretty far. Which means my usefulness is coming to an end. Your usefulness? What, you just mean the standing around letting me lay into you with whatever vicious attack sequence I fancy at the time? Yeah. Once you achieve your goal, my contract's up. You won't need me anymore. But only if I leave for good, isn't that right? So if I stuck around, you'd stay here too? Probably, but... Wait, you're really gonna stay? Sure looks that way. Huzzah! For you, mate. Thought you might get a kick out of this. For me, pal? Awful nice of you, just awful nice. But guess what? I got this for you. Tit for tat, you understand? It deals the deal. Cheers, mate. What's that one do? to the limits of your power. Zagreus. Alright, back. 
to work.